What's up guys, Shane here and today we're going to fix this flagpole with this tiny little 3D print. Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, today I have a flagpole here that needs repaired. So this is the flagpole from our scouts and the collar here just kind of like slips on and number one, it's missing like the decorative nail that kind of held this in place. But two, it has this slit in it. Now this is supposed to have a wedge go in there so that it stays inside of here and the nail just kind of helps it from rotating, but it should be wedged in there all the way. Well, it's not there. So, and I finally found out that it needed that because if I pick up the other side here, let's see if we can look inside of there. There, you can see the wedge right there. Now, I do not have any wood that I can use for this, so that's why I opted to make this little 3D print. Now this is, I believe, made this 40 millimeters long. It goes up to five mil or four mil um, wide at the top and all the way down to basically nothing where it could print. Once I get that in there, all I have to do is wedge this in and I mean, hammer that in all the way, and then that should open that up enough. I did do a quick test, it does work. I also have some uh, Gorilla Glue epoxy, so we're actually going to epoxy this as well when I put it in there. So I'm gonna get the epoxy mixed up. We'll get this all sort uh, fit in there, put this in, hammer it in, the epoxy will hold it, and we'll figure out some type of screw nail to throw in the side there. Should be pretty quick and easy. Now, I don't have any decorative nails, sadly, and getting another brass nail for that really isn't gonna happen. So I'm just gonna drill a real small pilot hole, and I'm gonna use just a very small screw, which should be more than enough to uh, hold that in. I'm going to a new location, not using the same hole. Just because, whoop. I don't want to use the same hole. I want to go somewhere new. That way this will hold in and not be a problem. Why don't I think this is fine enough? I might have to do this by hand. Rut row. You know, again, a brass nail would look so much better, but hey, this is a brass colored screw. Oh, got a little bit of epoxy on my hand there. And just like that, you know what they say, that ain't going nowhere. Again, you can see inside. Focus, yeah, so I got that pushed all the way in there. A little indent for my screwdriver. But yeah, that should be more than enough for that, plus the epoxy should hold that without any problem whatsoever. So yeah, just wanna share a quick little video of how 3D printing can help with the most random things that took three seconds to design and fusion, printed out, I think it took three minutes to actually print, it was very easy. And yeah, so again, little way, how to use 3D printing. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. Make sure you subscribe for more content. We have a lot more coming soon, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.